Okay, Nigerian Labour Congress NLC don't talk again. Say on the 2nd of August, say that they go on strike. Whether the devil likes it or not. Say if the federal government not listen to their demand. What if their demand that the price of oil is too high, which is subsidy? When we all know, say federal government will come out at all, at all, at all. But they are saying, if federal government continue with this price, if they don't reverse the price, that they are going to go on strike on the 2nd of August. Now, in June, there was a court order that told NSC that they cannot go on strike. But NSC is about to ignore that court order. According to what they the talk now, they are about to ignore that court order and go on strike all the same. The punch carried the news. Let me play it for you. The Nigerian Labour Congress had put plans in place for a nationwide strike scheduled to begin August 2, 2023. The punch has reliably gathered. Though a court order which barred the Congress from going on strike in June still stands, our correspondent learns that the Congress noted that it could not fold its arms while Nigerians continue to suffer the effects of subsidy removal, which has led to untold hardship. The Post reports that the Tinubu administration dragged the organized labor to court earlier in June to prevent a nationwide strike following the initial removal of the subsidy on PMS, popularly known as petrol. Though the government set up a committee to liaise with the organized labor, officials of the Trade Union Congress and the NLC said the committee had failed to engage labor in a dialogue. Speaking with our correspondents, the National Treasurer of the NLC, Hakim Ambali, said, Yes, we issued a seven day ultimatum to the federal government to conclude all negotiations with labor or face industrial action yesterday by the Central Working Committee. Earlier, an NLC official who spoke to the punch on Tuesday noted that the Congress would meet on Tuesday and deliberate on the ways forward. Failure of the government to meet with the ultimatum would lead to a nationwide strike. The national president of the NLC, Joe Ajayu, has yet to issue an official statement on the matter, nor respond to inquiries by our correspondents on the matter. Another national official noted that the public would be intimidated on other plans shortly. Now, on a regard to this today on Ghana, there's a court order where say NLC cannot strike. That court order was given in June. The court order still stands. Even when NLC do not get married, they said, I made the court go to that one place. <laughs> hey, very soon, all this have a court room for Nigeria. The government are giving Yala Mala. Yala Mala. Then I just say, I'm Mala. Give people at least that they go useful. Because from the look of things, the courts in Nigeria are totally useless. They go give instructions to the DSS, they say, they come and shut up there. They will give instructions to the FCC, the FCC go say, won't be. Even when they don't see. <laughs> that is a challenge, court's order. Not be their fault. Let all these lawyers go find another work do, because apparently there's nothing anybody can do. Yesterday, that issue will happen. The judge will give the judge best still they court. When the SSC, they must arrest him immediately. So what can you do? What can you do? We just stay here and complain so everybody now can flat the court order and the government starts up. You understand? That's one. Secondly, it be like say this NLC chairman, anytime when it all broke, or anytime when they don't notice say name not the popular again, go just issue strike. So that in go just then you small, then you go call them off. I can assure you NLC is not going on any strike. They go call the enter corner and they go settle the matter. That's how they come on some city. Shabina saw you rick, 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 rick. Give Nigerians hope. We're not going to agree. We're not going to agree. We're not going to come on the shaky hand. Before we know that they go meeting with them. Now they're they say, if federal government not agree to their demand, they not go, they will go on strike. We they wait on that. August second offer. We they watch. If they don't come up with story again, say what's the happen? I'm going to change my name, Nigeria. Not this country where I know.